The international illegal drug trade goes on despite the borders being closed. Three men have been charged after a tonne of cocaine was seized from a small fishing boat off the coast of New South Wales. Here's crime reporter Mark Reddy. High stakes on the high seas. Stop, stay there, stay there. Put your hands on the team now. Smuggling drugs into Australia has become harder. Travel restrictions mean criminals are having to work smarter. Go, 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 go. Although this is a spectacular fail. Even though we're going through a global pandemic, organised crime groups continue to attempt to exploit our borders. This is likely to be the biggest cocaine detection since 2017. Police say a tonne of cocaine was offloaded from a Chinese trawler onto this small boat near Lord Howe Island. Those on board barely made it to Newcastle when they were intercepted. How many on board? All three men had to be fitted in protective gear before their boat was towed to Sydney. Then they were tested for coronavirus. Among the alleged drug smugglers is Sydney bodybuilder Chris Precker. The 32-year-old is charged with commercial drug importation offences. While the global pandemic has seen the closure of state and international borders, it's failed to stop drug smuggling operations. But police say greater intelligence sharing around the world at this time is certainly making things harder for those still trying to break the law. And in this case, the tip-off came from New Zealand. So it's not surprising to see organised crime adapting to sea importation when the traditional uh, air trafficking methods are no longer available to them. Whatever the method, those responsible are facing the possibility of life behind bars. Organised crime groups will flow naturally around whatever obstacles are put in place. Even the obstacles posed by pandemic. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.